Inspiring generations of the most famous Hong Kong filmmakers, Patrick Long Gong was a pioneer director who changed the face of Cantonese cinema. We're here at the Museum of the Moving Image for a reception of a film screening series honoring his achievements. Patrick Long Kong has not been appreciated as much as he should be in this country. You know, his name should just be, be there in the list of great Hong Kong directors of all time. It's going to be, uh, you know, a trip to the past uh, which they didn't know exist, but yet yeah, it's, it's a trip to the past that also looks very modern. Sponsored by the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office and co-presented by Subway Cinema, yesterday, today, tomorrow, the cinema of Patrick Long Gong will present seven rare films he directed, one film he produced, and John Woo and Choi Hark's A Better Tomorrow, which is the more well-known 1980s remake of Long Gong's film The Story of a Discharged Prisoner. Commending his part in reshaping the image of Cantonese language cinema with a style and voice far ahead of his time, Subway Cinema awarded Long Gong the New York Asian Film Festival Lifetime Achievement Award. Most of the new generation of Hong Kong filmmakers know that Patrick Long Kong is the man who started this whole new style of filmmaking. You can look at his films and make a very direct link to, to contemporary styles. I think that Patrick Long Kong was ahead of his time. And when he was making these films, they were kind of disregarded and dismissed by, by most audiences. Uh, but he was incredibly influential then on, on cinephiles and, and young generation that was growing up and being exposed to cinema and wanted to become filmmakers themselves. Although known in Hong Kong for writing and directing 14 films in the 1960s and 70s, and for having acted in 60 films between 1958 and 2002, until now, Long Gong was mostly unknown outside of Hong Kong. At the time Long Gong began directing, Chinese films, especially Cantonese films, were held in relatively low regard. Tackling the social realities absent from movie screens, these films brought about a new wave of Cantonese filmmaking. For the Cantonese cinema, he was uh, really the, the key figure in the 60s. Uh, and this is at a time where the Cantonese cinema was not very popular. And, uh, you know, Mandarin language films were really dominating the industry. But he decided to really focus on Cantonese language cinema and to tell stories about, you know, kind of working class, lower class uh, people and gangsters. I hope that a retrospective like this, first of all, will help the world focus on this great director, Long Kong. But in a bigger sense, uh, to help the world understand Hong Kong cinema better and to understand the connection between Hong Kong cinema and world cinema. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, the cinema of Patrick Long Gong will run through August 24th. For more videos like this, check out our website at sinovisionenglish.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Lonnie Nelson.